Hey, it's our guy. We finally beat the dragon. Dude, that spider is like a ton of hit points. Welcome back, my oodles and oodles to more Baldur's Gate 3. Honestly, just happy to be back. I, I feel like I can't get enough of Baldur's Gate right now. And I am, uh, I, I, I don't even think I've scratched like the surface. You guys mentioned that there was like three acts and a ton of just like little things in between lots of different chapters. I think we're just about to approach the Underdark and I'm gonna go in and like move forward towards, oh God. God, Moonrise Towers. I was forgetting the name for a second, but we stumbled upon a hideout of some sorts. So I understand the occasional episode skip. So I leave these recaps in there for all audiences to enjoy. Hopefully you guys do enjoy them. But if not, I would not be offended if you skip forward. I add little tiny time, time slots in there if you guys would like to skip. Okay, since setting out on our amazing journey, we've rescued gnomes, we've rescued goblins, druids, tieflings, an entire grove of tiefling refugees, to be exact, confronted paladins, chased away hags, <coughs> anti-ethel. We've partaked, is it partaked or partook? We've partaken in shenanigans of the lust variety with our good friend Astarian. I don't even think we'd call him a friend at this point. He's more like our friend with benefits. I haven't let things go too far again, okay? It's been tempting. It's been a tempting offer on the table, but I have I have resisted. Trust me. I've told myself that I have my eyes set on someone else, but now it's getting kind of hard to know what I want. My feelings are developing and twisting in ways I didn't anticipate. Anyways, back to the recap. With all of those fine deeds that we've accomplished, our main quest is still clear. Find a way to cure the mind, find a way to get rid of the mind flare parasite that currently lives in our head and actually gives us some illithid powers. Speaking of illithid parasites, they've actually been altered by followers of the absolute and if we want answers, we need to head to the cold space at Moonrise Towers. Hence why we need to go there. But before we do, prior to this point, we found the remains of a caravan. A note on the corpse mentioned a valuable chest in someone called NF. Perhaps someone survived this attack, which two actually did survive. Upon helping the two trapped survivors, surrounded by a horde of ravenous gnolls, one of the survivors thanked us and invited us to meet his associates. To enter their hideout, we needed to use the password Little Serpent and Long Shadow. I'm suspecting that it has something to do with the Zentarum. And we've already known a little bit about the Zentarum, or at least I've brought it up before. We've actually met someone a part of the Zentarum. If you guys remember, back in the goblin camp, there was actually a halfling like me and she was part of the Zentarum guild, I think. They're think of the Zentarum and the Xanathar, basically like gangs and guilds in a sense. They don't like each other. They're like competing guilds. So the Zentarum are part of the black network, I think. And we found our in with them, which is actually really good that we kept some of the survivors alive. So that's where we currently are. We're in the cellar or we're about to go to the cellar and meet the Zentarum or the leaders of the Zentarum or whoever's down here. I have no idea. But we managed to avoid opening up their little black box in the notes. It was very clear that if we opened it, then everyone would die. <laughs> I don't think that was, that's a very gross exaggeration of what would actually happen. But you know, they thought they, they, they stated very clearly that I, we should not touch it. Oh, I, I was actually going to ask where do I go? Cause I was standing here like, is there supposed to be someone waiting for us? Nope. Okay, cool. Down the scary secret passageway it is. Oh yeah. Nice. I did. I have fast travel point. I like to see it. Okay. Here we go. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hey, it's our guy. Hold on, that's the last who saved us from the knolls. Let her in. Hey. Our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Yes. Easy. The importance of networking. A starian is inspired. Huh. How would that have gone if I didn't? You know, this is the thing about me. I always, I, I you need to save people. Oh, perception check fail. Everyone failed a perception check. Okay. Awkward. Well, then how do I get down there? They said come down, but how do you, how exactly do you do that? Oh, maybe they expect us to just walk through, I guess. We failed a perception check, so I'm a little nervous that they're just going to blow us up with traps. Oh, wait, what is this? Everyone move. What is this? Come here. Oh, maybe that was... Yeah, that was a trap, but they let us in, so... <laughs> We're good. 
I feel like I'm basically part of the family. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm basically family. Okay, I have to tell you guys in my D&D &D group, my halfling, so I'm a I'm a halfling in most of my D&D &D groups. Uh <laughs> staying staying true to my true to my character. In my one of my D&D &D groups, I actually got an in with the Zentarum as a rogue and they think I'm really cool. So, the fact that this in Baldur's Gate, it's it correlates to my actual D&D shenanigans is actually so fun. I'm very true to my character. And that's great. Uh, let's go talk. Talk to our guy. Rugen, buddy. Hope Zari's treated you to something nice. Feels good to do good things, okay? I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Oh, Zentarim. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. And my thanks. Our trader can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Oh, rubble? What were you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke. Right on our bloody doorstep. The Flaming Fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. Oh, that's actually really interesting. So the bloody, wait, did they call it the bloody fist? I can't remember. There's so many politics in Baldur's Gate and in D&D &D in general. So it's, I, I'm happy that I have, I have like, I'm passing my own history checks, okay? <laughs> no big deal. I'm out, I'm out here just picking apart what it, what's already in my memory about Dungeons and Dragons and the world politics around it. And I'm already piecing things together. So I'm really happy that everything went down the way it did. So we can now buy some exotic things, which is actually really cool. Cause again, they're part of the black network. So they get their hands on some really pricey items. So it's actually worth perusing some of their wares. I like the vibe here in the uh, in the Zentarum base proximity explosive. Oh my god. There's so many explosives. <laughs> we don't want to piss anyone off either. Oh, they have wolves on their side? Do you think they're druids? I hate wolves. Wait, what? Shadowheart? Frightened? I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves. They're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers. It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. Hey, no judgment. I mean, decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. Oh, at least not alone. Oh, Shadowheart. I'll try to avoid wolves in the future where possible. Everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. We can scarcely afford to show weakness right now. I hope this won't be a problem. Wolves though, really? They're just dogs with no table manners. I love that comment. That's awesome, but I'm not gonna say that. Everyone's got their own fears. I won't judge yours. Some might think it makes me a liability. Kinda is, but we're not gonna talk about that. like about you. You're different. Oh, finally, finally some recognition. See, she can instantly like Carlac because she can't instantly like me. What's so not likable about me? I'm basically Carlac, just like three inches off the ground. All right, so she doesn't like wolves. Maybe I should get her to stay here because she's going to be frightened. I don't know if that's going to do anything, honestly, actually. Hopefully she just doesn't attack anyone. Anyone in here? There's a chest in there. So I can't imagine that we want to get caught. I cannot tell if they don't want us in here, but I can't imagine that. No talking your way out of this. Nope, nope. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. I'll come back to this spot when they're all gone. Wait, no, they said it's gonna be rubble though. How do I get in there? I mean, I want the stuff that's in there. And they said that if we don't leave, the place is just gonna be rubble. I don't know if I'll be able to come back. Do I have a potion of invisibility? This would be nice to have a, another potion. I am not sure how I'm going to be able to do that. I'll cruise around the area, but there's there's some good stuff in that room. Maybe I should... Where? Oh, that's some good stuff. Okay, maybe there's a way to get in... Yes, that's what I was thinking. I'm way too big. What? Oh, maybe I can use my spectral hand. All right, spectral, spectral hand. Go in. Ooh, good stuff in here too. Can I pick the lock and open the chest from right there? <laughs> maybe. No one stopped me yet. So if I walk up to this door, Watch how you go. disarm. Oh, there's a, there's a. Okay. 
So I can do it through the door. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so I can move the chest in front. And as long as I don't get noticed, I'm going to just open the chest. I'm just going to use my spectral hand, hold the chests close to the door. I'm going to use my thieves tools and I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick the lock. And then I'm just going to loot all the stuff without even opening the door. I, I, I remember looting their stuff before. So I looted in the goblin camp. I found a way that only a gnome could go in or a halfling or anything thing and wait actually if i play music will they get distracted i'm learning so many things maybe i should provide distraction no i might just have to find a good opportunity okay i'm gonna split and then i'm gonna come over here i'm gonna use my spectral hand maybe i can place these boxes in front of me so i can hide i am going not for communal use it seems oh Best show some respect. <laughs> awesome. Oh god, they caught me doing that. Okay, I get it, I get it. Oh, we picked up a wood crate. Ooh, so they came over to investigate me for being over here. Huh. So playing the loot won't work, and they're clearly super peeved. They do not want me over here. What if I go over here? Well, now they're way over there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in. Okay, after like several new tries. Okay, let's get this in and get it over with. Yes. Yes. Okay, nothing in here. I gotta get out of here soon. I'm just happy I at least got in here. I didn't I didn't wanna uh, I didn't wanna steal that stupid plate. Okay, I think there might not be anything else in this room. So we're just gonna go ahead and get out of here. I'm gonna close that. Nothing to see here. I did it. I actually managed to loot it. Why won't they move out of that then? Okay, they won't move though. Damn. Can I play the loot? Oh, he turned around. That's pretty cool. Oh, he turned back around. He's They're really watching this room. That's unfortunate. We might just be missing out on what's in that room. I don't want to get caught and have to fight my way through out of here. But the room that I just got into, that was a pretty good room. Got some nice gloves out of it too. I want to go sell all of my stuff. Seems like they're there. I, I want to sell a lot of like the broken rings and the, the random things I can do for gold. I've got so much parchment as well. Well, if you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroic likeness. Oh, wait, really? Wait, sorry. I skipped the first part of what he said, but he said that someone will paint me. You have a pet artist? I do cut a fine figure. I'll take one. No, I'll just wait. You have a pet artist? Let's say we're his patrons. Yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Yeah, who is this? Protection sounds a bit more like kidnapping. Sounds fair. Uh, do you have... Yeah, protection sounds like kidnapping. Are you looking to buy him? I'm open to offers, mate. Threats? Not so much. Yeah, I'd buy him. Fine, I'll buy him. How much? Intimidation. We can skip threats and go straight to blades if you like. Persuasion. If he's as talented as you say, someone will be looking for him. Rogue persuasion. Art's more valuable once the creator is dead. I can arrange that. Ro wait. Art's more valuable once the creator is dead. I can arrange that. Ooh. That sounds amazing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. It was a pretty high difficulty, but... What? kill him and the price of his drawings goes up bloody clever that go on then but don't kill him here he's going to be a bleater i know it <laughs> yes where's my where's the guy where can i hit where can I, where is he is this is this the one i can't say i've ever been i did before. it how much did i fetch <laughs> no don't tell me there's nothing so depressing as learning one's true value well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. I love saving people. I don't know why, it brings so much joy to me. Especially when I do it in clever ways, like persuasion. It's just like rogue class, you know? I gotta I gotta take advantage of my class as much as possible because I know that my, my class is one of the weaker classes out there, but it's one of the most engaging aside from Bard. I think at least. I've never heard of you. I am Noodles. Excellent, when will, when will I get my reward? Don't worry, the Oscar Fervis didn't cost me a single coin. What will you do with your freedom? What will you do with your, I will tell you, I'll tell him my name. A genuine pleasure. I'm in your debt. As is my patron, <clears throat> my betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janet oh, still God, sorry. To marry me after our little um, falling out. 
Oh. You recall a recent scandal. <laughs> of Gate who wished to marry a commoner. Your lady, what did, she, did he say? Jonathan, Janoth's, Janoth's runaway? Oh, whatever. Janoth's runaway groom. What happened? I don't care about your love life. I just want my reward. Your. I did not run away. A date was never set. There were complications. Ooh. Before my fame, my patron, there was a uh, another woman. Ooh, did we just save someone who I cheated? To spend my life with. But when Lady Janeth offered me a future, well, it felt only right to mention my past. Right, but unwise. Ah. Uh. I was forced to retreat into the countryside to paint and to clear my head, to choose, I suppose. A truly horrifying dilemma. And what choice did you make? All I care about is getting paid. <laughs> what choice did you make? I'm interested. Hmm? Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> Fame and wealth suit me very well, no doubt. And yet, I think of that first love, and I hesitate. <laughs> Likely I'm going mad. Whoa, that sounds like a good love we story. We have more immediate concerns. But he ran away! Once I've returned to the city, for one. Yes. Say, you, I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Uh, mm, uh, no, I freed you. I'll give you a serious discomfort to deal with if you don't get going now. I'm nothing to give. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'll give you serious discomfort to deal with if you don't get going now. Right you are. Just asking for a little help was all. Dude, I just got you out of help. <laughs> <laughs> and you ran away after lusting after another woman. What is wrong with you? You ask too much. Ooh, they do have some good stuff. Look at that. Oh, God. All right, well, let's just let's see what we can offer up first because I, God knows I've got a lot of stuff. Okay, I've been spending a lot of time just <laughs> moving all this stuff around, but... I gave so I I basically equipped a bunch of new magical items and stuff. So I've got I've got the ruptured blade for myself. I've got like new boots for Astarian, a necklace, new a new dagger, new ranged weapon. All of them have enchantments on them. I, I gave Karlak a you got I got stop moving. Gave her new boots, new arms, a necklace with enchantments, great axe, and a new ranged weapon with enchantments as well. So I feel like and and, and Shadowheart. Got some stuff too but now i really feel like we've got some good stuff and I'm, I'm, I'm a little out of gold but i think it was worth it the only thing we didn't get to do is go through that door again but you know i think that this was a good this was a good hour adventure <laughs> it doesn't feel like very long for you but i've been playing for a while we're now friends of the zentarum that's great okay well we've basically explored the entire hideout let's leave I'm so excited to actually get to Baldur's Gate because we have so many people that we've talked to and surprised and saved and we've helped make their lives better but also worse. We ha we helped the tieflings, the refugee tieflings. We we helped the the, the pregnant lady and her hot dead husband. That dark elf. He's not a dark elf. He was like a dark gnome. So he's from the Underdark. I don't think we'll see him in Baldur's Gate, but we'll see him in the Underdark. That's what's interesting. We've helped the Zentarum, so we're part of the Zentarum now. There's a lot of things that we've done so far, and I'm really excited to see the payout of our help. That's kind of where I'm what I'm thinking. That's a I picked up a key. <laughs> Let me just loot random dead corpses and pick up their belongings. That's that's fine. I'm hopeful that we can get to, oh god clip through the map. I'm hopeful that I can finish up what's left up here and then I'm gonna go and then I'm gonna go to the Underdark. But I, I want to wrap up everything up here that I I don't want to leave any loose ends or at least not too many loose ends. Okay we haven't gone this way yet. Ugh, I'm so nervous. I'm kind of low on health. Does Shadowheart have any health, health spells? Yeah she's got a little bit of health. I don't want to use any potions. Oh look a bridge! What are you doing? Hold up before they see you, my Gresham. My Gresham? What's the matter? And who are you exactly? I might be concerned. Wait, I might have been concerned had I the slightest idea who they are. Whatever you just called me, I don't like the sound of that. Watch your tongue. <laughs> I might have been concerned had I the slightest idea of who they are. Look, down there. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. 
I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. Their uniform looks familiar to me. The fight against them would go your way. Who are you? Seems you have good survival instincts. Maybe you should join me instead. What? Just follow you around? Yeah, absolutely. I go my own way. Alone. Oh, okay, fine. Who are you? Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. Mm, you're not wrong. Ooh. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is your, your last chance! <laughs> no, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Istik? We finally beat the dragon! Oh my god, was she the dragon rider? Uh, tell me the dragon's not coming to meet me. Stop wasting time, <laughs> You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to- No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. Oh. Fail her at your peril. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I hate to be negative, but those gifts will carve you up like a goose. Yeah, Starion, you might actually have a point here. I don't think that those are good people to... Oh my god, and the dragon too? Yeah, if we go down there, we're gonna have to fight. That is super, super... Oh, it's the mountain pass. Okay, so that is the mountain pass area. Can I just go across this bridge? Yeah, it seems like if I just go across this bridge, they shouldn't... They shouldn't notice me. Good dragon. <laughs> good, good dragon. I don't want to go to the mountain pass just quite yet. How am I going to avoid this dragon? I want to... Oh, this is the mountain pass. Everyone's like, yeah, maybe you should to go talk to those guys. And I'm over here like, mm, but I'm kind of tempted. Okay, before I go to the Underdark, I want to make sure I explore basically everything because I feel like I'm getting pretty close to a lot of the surface level chapter one stuff. I want to go through all the black areas. So like right here, down here here. I, I feel like a lot of this should just be ocean, but I don't want to leave any stone unturned, I guess. I haven't gone in here in this shabby door area. I went back to the blighted village to make sure I combed over it for a second. Really make sure I get it all. Oh, Starion, do not stand there. That does not look good. That looks like a spider's nest. <laughs> that does not look good. Should I fall in there? What if I, what if I just throw some fire on it? Oh God, do I want to do it? A part of me kind of does. I didn't even think that there was any more things in this village, but I I'm just trying to make sure I do everything. Wait, have I been in here? This looks good. Ooh, precise arcs and neatly drawn lines from the blueprints of three weapons, a great sword, a sickle, and a, ja a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with the exact measurements and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, sorcerer bark. The sorcerer bark can only be applied to an ordinary unmodified blade. The underdark? Oh, great. Now we have weapons stuff. I don't even know how to create weapons. Have I been down here? Have I been down here? No, but this looks like an entire blacksmith area, so that's kind of cool. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, Shadow Heart, you beautiful thing, you. Sometimes I get a little concerned with you, but you managed to pull through. Cracked wall. So then how do I destroy this cracked wall? I wish I knew how to destroy things. Oh, sorry, Shadowheart. I did not mean to do that. Or maybe I did. Wait, something took damage. Okay, so the wall did take- the wall started bleeding. That's so weird. Walls can't bleed. Whispering deaths. They will touch the webs. I'd hate to disturb the locals. The webs? Where? There are no webs. Oh, that there is webs. Maybe, huh. He said, don't, don't, don't use the webs. It'll 
You'll draw the locals? Should I long rest? A part of me thinks that I should long rest and then come back here and then take on whatever's in this cave. Halzen, Halzen, Halzen. I must talk to you. Speak? Yes, I do. The shadow you speak of certainly can't be that bad. Uh, you're still faring well at camp, I hope? With such stimulating company? <laughs> <laughs> Never better. Oh, okay, he doesn't have anything to talk to me about. Well, we'll just rest then. Now we should be good to <laughs> basically go and die. So fun, I didn't think there was gonna be more to this. Should I just attack the web? No, I should just go down. Oh. Okay, maybe I should get out now. Thank you. Everyone, don't go on the web. Something didn't like that? Yeah, of course it didn't. But I I want to go down there. If I go further into the cave, I don't... Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna jump over. Boom, baby. All right. We're in business now. Oh, uh, this place looks gross. Oh, look, it's a spider. That's great. I mean, I didn't expect anything else. What a spider. Hey, what are those? I want to get some stealth attacks on these guys. Yes! I will kill you! Oh, yes! Yes! That was good! Surprised! Surprised! Oh, no! Yes, of course you're surprised. See, this is where my rogue skills come into play, guys. Come on. Now I have a ranged attack, too, because I bought... Um, hmm. Because I bought some new stuff, which was awesome. Well, how, what level are these? Three? Oh, great. Easy enough. They're teleporting spiders? What the hell? Oh, can my friends join me? <laughs> Wait, maybe? Okay, my friends are gonna come in from the other angle here. How do we get to the high ground? Get him, Azarian! Let's go! Karlag, your turn. Oh, this sneak attack is great. Boom! All right, so now that everyone has joined the battle properly, let's go ahead and <laughs> attack. I didn't even have to use any difficult spells either. That's awesome. Wait, this thing's got a lot of hit points though that's crazy easy let's go okay hold on everyone stop being on fire please thank you nice 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 i'm excited to see what what's at the end of this cave oh this place looks so bad holy crap oh, hold on all right that's that's a big spider um a level five a phase spider matriarch dude that spider is like a ton of hit points level five huh okay what if we do this we split myself from the group here i stay crouched i'm going to position all of my people a little bit here it says there's another oh i can go down okay i, I understand so there's a ton of spiders, but I think I should just attack this one. I am literally using so many spells right now because we're not in com or not in combat mode yet. So I'm going to go ahead and place her right here. And I am going to attack now. Let's do this. Wait, how do I get Okay, well that answers that question. Uh what? What? I should have expected that. I didn't think it was going to be some sort of easy fight, I guess. Oh my god, I literally <laughs> help everyone. Shadow Heart was the only one I kind of kept a little out of battle. How do I help? There we go. Help. Okay, that battle was actually a lot harder than I was anticipating, and I did a godsend save. I had a sacred scroll, and it did like 30 damage, and I was like, kid, this is all I got left. I only had Shadow Heart left, and she had she has all my like my scrolls because she's, you know. She does wizard stuff. Wow, that was crazy. Holy crap, I, I don't even, I thought I was actually gonna have to do that all again. And that, that fight did take me about 30 minutes, which was crazy long. Holy crap. Um, I'm hoping that there's no one else in this entire area. Uh, Shadowheart, do you have any healing? <laughs> I'm like, I'm almost thinking if that's, if that's, yeah, that's, that's a bad, that's not good. How do I even get down there? I don't even think I could get down there. Unlock ancient tome? Ancient tome. I don't know how much I have left in me. <laughs> that 
that fight took so much out of me because that that was a hard fight. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but I spent so much time doing it that I didn't want to fail. Oh, I didn't even know that this web went this way. Oh, that's so cool. Well, it didn't matter anyways. I don't know if there's anything else in this cave. Oh, okay. I don't think I did find everything. Look, there's a portal over here whispering depth so there is maybe a way i can get down there but i maybe should come back to this <laughs> wait what is all of this traveling through the mountain pass oh right right yeah i'm not even sure how to get down there it seems like you might be able to but i'm not sure <laughs> okay back in the blighted village i did not expect this little adventure to go so crazy all i did was just make sure i, I was calming over the blighted village camp um i want i what i really want to do is i want to comb over the rest of like this area so going out and around and down and then going somewhere into this bog i don't think it's going to be anything but we might as well just check and to think of how many other things i'm probably missing in this game like the fact that I just, I, by not exploring the rest of the blighted village, I could have easily missed that spider cave, which was insane because if I had gone down there at level two, I would have got my ass kicked. Yeah, all of this just seems like water. Oh, there's a little road over there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I can even go down here. But there's like a whole thing right here. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Yeah, this is the, this is where I was like thinking about. Oh no, please don't attack me. <laughs> I don't have any hit points left. They don't look like they're gonna attack me. You can't die. Please stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Lithid wisdom. I will go where I wish. Medicine. His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Freeze and hold up your hands. Yeah. She might be a healer, Bry. She might be a bandit. Uh uh. I'm part of the absolute. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming chair. Ooh. Try to block him out. Hold his stare. Move away. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. I have that necklace too, that's cool. She. No, I don't want to protect these guys. I don't want that responsibility. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. All of this chosen stuff is kind of crazy. They are blindly following this, like, higher power that's not even a higher power. You're mistaken. I'm no true soul. True soul. Explain the Absolute. We already know these. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for a... Dr oh, I already know that. Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. What happened to your brother? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here, but instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear, an angry one. An oil bear. To drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. Oil bear tra tracks. Uh, I'm a survivor of the crash. Looks like you found me. You need to find the beast and avenge your brother. Uh, I'm a survivor of the crash. <gasps> Brenna, kill her. Wait, 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 what? Did I miss the dialogue option? Sorry, I think all the attacks have gone to my brain. Let's just finish him off real quick. <laughs> I don't like, I don't like followers of the absolute any, anyways. Sorry, so sorry. What did I say? Does it matter? They like the absolute and their brother is dead anyways. I don't feel like I owe them anything. They're not out here gonna follow me to Baldur's Gate. I don't think. Oh uh, yes, thank you for starting a fight with me. I was not, maybe, I think I was already just kind of like, kind of like, all right, if you don't have anything good on you, then, ooh. 
Ooh, and the Mind Flayer Parasite. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad I came back for that. Yeah, if we didn't kill them, then I wouldn't have gotten the powers anyways. So it was a win-win. I know. Carla, Carla says she wants to rest her weary head. Okay, I say we save. <laughs> this is this has been a lot of adventure for today. We managed to find the Zentarum. We managed to kill a, a matriarch. What is a matriarch? A giant freaking spider okay it was it was a lot harder than i was anticipating we freed an artist found ourselves another parasite i mean really today's been a great day <laughs> and it was a very long one too i haven't recorded a Baldur's gate episode for this long in a little while so bear with me you guys thank you so much for watching i'm having so much fun with this adventure and the fact that it's not like even nearly done is crazy to me the recaps are just gonna keep getting more elaborate and in depth and and it's just going to be such a really cool outcome for the series and i'm just really excited to see the series as a whole thank you for tuning in make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video Mwah.